Okay, so the first card is the gold card, and this looks like success coming to you, uh, also lots of money coming to you, so it looks like there's going to be a change as far as your financial situation goes. It's going to be an influx of something that you find valuable, so it could well be money, but it could also be, uh, you know, a good home or, or some kind of new change in your financial situation. You've got the mouth card over here, so just watch what you're saying to people, uh, be careful of how what people are saying to you as well, because, you know, they might be smiling at you, uh, but at the end of the day they might be saying things uh, that are not very very nice so just watch out uh, as far as communication goes or listening to what people have got to say you've got the car over here and this is it looks like you're starting off a new uh, journey uh, you made up your mind and you know exactly where you're going it seems like you're in the driver's seat so you're taking control of your life and it looks like it's going to bring in some success over there now in the past you've got the airplane so there might have been some local travel that you've been doing um it could have been, you know, you could have been on a holiday or you could have just been traveling quite a lot recently. You've got the dog card over here. So this is about travel to go and see friends, uh, people that, you know, you love, people who are faithful to you. And it seems like that's what's been happening in the recent past. Now, going to the future, you've got the Anima card over here and the Jewel card. So there is that need for you to uh, tap into, if you're masculine, tap into your feminine side. If you're feminine, tap into your masculine side. And it's also a need for you to uh, take control of that situation. Make sure that you are completely in charge, that you are, um, you know, ruling uh, you, the, the things that you do in life. You are in charge of whatever you're doing. You are controlling whatever you're doing. You've got the jewel card over here, so there is success coming in for you. You can see there's a lot of jewelry uh, going on over here. So there is uh, money coming in over there, and it's going to allow you to afford the luxuries of life. So something coming in, it gives you enough to afford luxuries in life. So there is a change uh, as far as your financial situation goes. But there is that need for you to take control, find your pathway in life. And it seems like your 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 road is open. Um, so you know things are starting to clear up for you in this new year. So those are the energies for that week. Oops. Okay, so I'm going to be using the um, Everyday Enchantment Tarot for the main week. So you've got the Ten of Cups over here at the bottom of the deck and the Two of Blades, um, as well as the Seven of Cups. So something has been causing you quite a lot of confusion recently, and it's something to do with, uh, you know, emotional choices that you have to make. You seem to have... You may have gone through a divorce or some kind of separation with that Queen of Blades, but you're very determined to get things done right now. Uh, you've been spending a lot of time by yourself. Uh, it seems like there's a lot of heartbreak that you are trying to sort through over there, and it's causing a lot of emotional confusion for you there. You're feeling, uh, you know, as though you're looking at, into a lot of options. You're trying to decide, make choices, uh, but it's a, a very confusing time for you at the moment. And you can see that with that Two of Blades, you are, you are making uh, up your mind as to what you want and what you don't want. Can see she's got things blocked over there so with that seven of cups you are you are rejecting things that are not working out for you uh, in this uh, new year and you are coming to terms with uh, being separated but you are now determined you you're now pushing forward it seems you've got um, that eight of cups it seems like you are walking away from things so you're deciding whatever offers are coming in for you are not things that you really want with that two of blades you're now deciding that, you know, you've had enough of it. You're ready to just leave things and walk away from things that are not serving you there. And you've got that Ten of Cups. It looks like there are ending of relationships over there. So uh, whatever emotional situation, whatever friends that are not working out for you, it seems you've made up your mind and you have decided that you are cutting it out of your life. So what's happening with you? You've got the moon card over here and the lovers. So there's big choices coming in. And it seems to be all about the emotional choices that you are making at the moment. The moon card is your card, but this is also the card of being confused or not really knowing or not feeling 
uh, very much in touch with the people around you. You're not connecting with them anymore. It seems like there are hidden things from you as well. Uh, there might be lies and deceit that you're dealing with at the moment and you're making up your mind that you want to move forward. Maybe move forward to something that is more fulfilling for you or making up your mind that you want to do something that is going to be better for you in the long run. And you're making a major life decision over here. So you've come through quite a bit with that strength card in the back over here. You've got this woman who is in a wheelchair but still overcoming difficulties. So whatever situation you were, in it seems to have been very crippling for you and uh, you know you've had there seems to have been loyal people around you people that are supportive of you uh, and you are coming out of that situation you are gathering your strength over there you're still mourning the loss of whatever that relationship is you feel very disappointed very let down and you can see there's a dog in both these cards so whoever's around you is uh, on the supportive side they are standing by you over there but you are still mourning the loss of that relationship uh, uh, you know it seems like you're still thinking about it and you're still crying about it but this has been happening in the recent past, and it seems like you will, you're coming into this reading, making up your mind, deciding that you don't want things, and you're going to be moving away from difficult situations over there. On your mind, you're going to be focusing on your work. That is what your uh, get, your goal is. You might be deciding to start a new job or even going and furthering your career by doing some further training or improving your skill set or even doing some further courses of learning, and that's on your mind. Now, going to the um, future, you've got the Page of Pentacles over here. So there is a need for you, uh, if you want to start something uh, new, uh, to think outside the box, something alternative. So whatever you've been doing might not be the thing that is going to bring in the finance. You might need to do some kind of alternative job, uh, maybe an interim thing uh, before you uh, start bringing in the coins. So this is child is walking the dogs over here, uh, doing something different, maybe doing a second job or doing something completely different from what you, you have been doing. And you know, you're going to be, you've got to be very, very enterprising. Uh, start something brand new if things are not starting to work for you. You've got to, you're going to be the one that has got to be very, very proactive uh, in order for you to start bringing in the coin. And it will bring in the coin. If you decide to do something very, very different, it looks like the money will come in over there. This could also be you uh, hearing news about a new job. So you may have been putting out uh, application forms for a new job and it looks like you will get news with that page of coins. You've got the two of wands over here. So there's a need for you to actually leave uh, you know, the place that you're staying at maybe and move on to somewhere else. So moving on to do this job somewhere else. The two of wands is about making plans for the future. So you need to be very, very planned up and put yourself out there. You can see the man is drumming there. So you need to show Show people your skills and your talents. This new job might take you overseas because you've got the world card over here. So you might get a new offer coming in on the job from, from overseas. And it's going to be something very difficult. There could be communication coming in from somebody on the overseas front with regards to work. Uh, so you may need to uh, leave wherever you are and move on. So relocate to do this new job. You've got the two of coins over here, so they're again making a decision. So you are at the point where you're going to have to decide, you're going to have to weigh your options as to what, what you want to do. <coughs> it looks like this new job that you take on uh, will pay pretty well. So if you are accepting something from the overseas front, it looks like that is going to be... Uh, uh, enough to going to bring in enough coin for you there but you are going to have to make a decision there is something that you have to, have to weigh up uh, and decide what you want to do at the moment you're at a point where you're juggling finances a bit um, trying to, to pay bills off uh, so this new job offer is going to be something welcome because it's definitely going to bring in some new money there for you you've got the empress card over here so you are working towards maybe you have a family that you have to look after and you're worried about that that they won't be taken care of maybe you're a single parent or you know you're having to sort the finances out by yourself so this is what your main worry is about meeting uh you know your financial um um needs or or trying to um you know sort out your finances this seems to be what you're working towards now you've got the hierophant over here as the final outcome the six of coins and the ten of wands the Hierophant card shows that you might be going back to school, you might be going into some kind of teaching situation, you might be uh, taking on a teaching role, or uh, you might be going and uh, doing some kind of further training, uh, further study, uh, and it seems like you're thinking about that as well with that Eight of Coins card, you are thinking of doing some kind of further training or further study. With that Hierophant card, it looks like you know you want to do to further your skills, um, and you want to be um, you know reach success by improving your your skill set. So 
there's a lot of books, a lot of learning over here, uh, going back into a, some kind of traditional learning situation. On the other hand, you might be taking on some kind of role as being a teacher, um, you know, where you're giving out or training uh, people, giving out information or training people for the job. You've got the six of coins. This is certainly going to be something that brings in the money. Whatever this new uh, direction you're taking in is going to bring in the money. You've got that six of coins. It looks like there will be a lot of offers for you to be able to do this. So you'll be able to work and learn at the same time uh, with that hierophant and the six of coins. The hierophant is the card ruled by Taurus. Taurus is about personal money and finances. The six of coins is bringing in the money. So whatever job you're doing in the form of training or even if you're learning on the job, it looks like you're going to be working and earning um, and learning at the same time as well. Um, it might be a bit stressful for you with that Ten of Wands. You might find that you are going to be a bit swamped because uh, you've, uh, you've got a lot of deadlines to meet over You still see a lot of books. So it's going to be some kind of job where you are learning. There's some kind of deadlines that you're going to have to meet uh, and you might feel a little bit swamped and a bit of a bit stressed out by it. Uh, there is a need for you to be very, very organized because um, that two of wands also talks about planning. So in order for you to make this particular aspect work for you, you're going to have to be well planned and don't stress out about it. Know exactly what you're getting yourself into when you're taking on study and trying um, you know, to learn uh, trying to work at the same time. Uh, so even here, they are, there's an aspect of juggling things here. So you're going to have to, if you decide that you want to do this further training or this further course, it is going to be a little difficult because you're going to have to be juggling the work aspect as well as the learning aspect for you. Uh, so just be aware that that's going to come in. But it will all be worth it at the, in the end because it is going to be something that brings in the coin. If you improve your, your skill set, it's definitely going to bring... Uh, advantageous for you at the end of the day. Now you've got the Wheel of Fortune, so that is turning for you over here. So the delays are over, sudden and unexpected good luck coming in, um, a move or travel. So the Wheel of Fortune is turning for you in a very, very positive way. Whatever has been stuck for you, wherever you've been uh, unable to move forward and been you know, very swamped by emotional issues, it seems like you're going to be very, very busy uh, pretty soon. You've got that... Um, spinning wheel over there which is talking about being really really hard at work and this is a positive change so things are going to start moving pretty quickly for you you've got the three of summer which is uh the three of cups over here um, you know you're going to be meeting a lot of people uh news worth celebrating announcements such as weddings graduations births travels so uh, the Wheel of uh, Fortune bringing in a very, very good news. So things are going to start moving pretty quickly. So if you've been waiting for news about a new job or a, a way to move out of the situation, it seems like good news is coming in and you're going to be celebrating it. You can see that with that page of coins, this is also about news and it's about money. So news about money coming in, possibly a new job coming in for you over there. And it's going to bring about big changes over here. So let go belief systems that no longer work for you, an important life-changing event, a situation that leads leads to significant opportunities. So things starting to change in a very, very big way and is being brought about by the Wheel of Fortune. There's worth, news worth celebrating and it's going to be something that's very, very life-changing. You are changing your career path quite dramatically over here. You're doing something completely different. Uh, you know, you are being very, very enterprising. It's going to be very successful because it's definitely going to bring in the coin. But it also means that you're going to be doing some further study, further learning. You're almost training on that job. It might well be an overseas job because you've got that two of wands over here. So there could be overseas travel coming in over here. And just be aware that, you know, it's you're going to be very, very busy. You're going to be a bit swamped over there. So try not to stress out too much. It looks like there's a lot of communication coming on in a lot of deadlines to be met but you're going to be pretty much worked off your toes there um, so you know just make sure you're well planned up it certainly will bring in the coin and it will get you out of this very stagnant energy that you have been in recently so i hope this reading has resonated with you and uh, please don't forget to like share subscribe and leave me some comments if it hasn't thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye